Good morning. Do you know the definition for inclusiveness? Our definition for inclusiveness is the quality of covering and dealing with a range of subjects and areas and also treat them fairly and equally. For example, sexual harassment, grass theory, and our topic, surrogate mother. Recent years, the number of the countries which legalize same-sex marriage has increased, including Taiwan. Also, the average age of female fertility in most countries are getting higher. In some countries like Japan, there are some rising phenomena such as less marriage and aging society. These are the significant reasons for the growing of surrogate mothers in 21st century. So, what is a surrogate mother anyway? Simply put, surrogate mother is the woman who delivers baby for another woman. Unlike test tube babies who can only have one gene combination, babies formed by surrogacy can have different gene sources. For example, sperm and egg can be from intended parents, donors, or even from surrogate mothers. However, the biggest difference between them is surrogate mothers have to give their babies away after they are born. We can say that surrogate mothers give people who are not able to deliver babies hopes. Yet, surrogate mothers bring a bunch of problems to our society. So, let's take a look. Now, we're going to introduce the advantages of surrogate mother briefly. Generally, surrogate mother benefits people who can't reproduce by themselves, like same-sex male marriage people, mid-aged parents, women who can't have children, etc. For example, Kim Kardashian looked for surrogate mother's help because of her illness. And now she successfully had her third and fourth children. Nowadays, surrogate mothers can also get so much payment that they are willing to lend themselves to support their families. And for disadvantages, surrogate mothers' rights are often neglected in several countries which don't have sufficient and clear regulations. They aren't well paid or treated in some developing countries and aren't also being good taken care of before and after their deliveries. For example, many Indian women are willing to become a surrogate mother because they can earn 50 times more than their monthly income. But many of them also die during the process of reproduction without receiving reasonable compensation. In Thailand, a surrogate mother may even get nothing because the baby in her belly accidentally dies. These end up treating surrogate mother as merchandise than humankind, trading with them to make money and using them as a baby delivery machine. The rights of babies are also being ignored that an illness one may be abandoned. Moreover, the nationalities of these babies are sometimes controversial. I think it's time for us to take action to make things better. Hey, Ayaha. Hi. Have you heard of surrogate mothers? I knew that in Japan, but it's kind of in the gray area. Oh, it's also the same in Taiwan. Do you think it would be better if we decide the law to solve this problem? Wait, 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 wait. We thought that we should let the public come out of their shells first. Come out of their shells? Why? Because there are many people who decide to base the system. As for me, I thought that it was kind of improper thing before I thought about it. I mean, we will want to accept the information that we deserve in this. It's just like you don't want to know more about a person that you don't like, right? Yeah, but you should still make the law first because those are strict enough for public to accept an unfamiliar way of thinking. As time goes by, people will get used to it and see it normally. What if nobody see the severity of the phenomenon? Then it'll be an unconvincing law. You can't reach the goal of protecting them if the law isn't convinced by everyone. That's why our seventh step is to get help from organizations. By doing that, the surrogate mothers whose rights and interests are damaged can have a way out. Hmm, that also makes sense. But we still think that we need to make it known worldwide because people all around the world should cooperate to solve the problem. Okay, but how?
by using social media, we can feel the problem more familiar and start thinking about it. Through the help of those media, we can add advertisements and messages on the net. Otherwise, we can ask for descendants of surrogacy to advise the crowd by their own experiences. These can help reach our goal easily. We agree on making it worldwide, but not every country has influence on social media. I mean, there are many countries that social media is not popular yet. And also, there are many people who suffer from surrogate birth, so we don't think it will be a good solution. Mm, then let's bring back to what you say. Laws and organizations can be solutions, but what if there's international cases, like internet parents are from other countries and have some custody problems? How can your national laws and organization help the babies? Oh, we've also thought of that situation. That's why we think that there should be global regulations to protect their rights between different countries. Actually, there's already some institutions, like UN, are trying to promulgate about the rules. As you can see, we don't have the agreement so far. So, what do you guys think about this problem? How do you feel about Saudi mothers now? Do you think a country should legalize surrogate mothers or not? Whether a country makes specific laws about surrogate mothers or not, there are still lots of surrogacy problems in every country. However, internet popularity around the world isn't equal, which doesn't make it strict enough. In short, we urge the world to pay high attention while making precise provision instantly. Whether you support or not, we must admit the existence problem of surrogate mothers and must deal with it actively.